What's going on guys? JPB Duel here. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. And for today's matchup, we have an Adventures Pranks versus a Sword Soul with me as the prankster going first. Now looking at my current hand, I know I have a way to play around my opponent's Ash Blossom and I can negate my opponent's Maxi, which he instantly throws in my face as soon as he sees I'm playing Prank Kids. So I use the Ash, negate the Maxi, and now I can go into my combo without worrying about my opponent drawing a ton of cards. As I said before, I am going to use the Faithful Adventure to chain block and this only works if you do not have a Draco back in your hand. So I activated search for the Draco back and we keep going into our combo. Now today I'm going to show you a combo line that you guys might realize exists or you may be using it right now in your games as well or maybe you guys don't know this combo line exists and I'll show it to you anyways. For this combo line to work, you need three things. You need to have a Link Spider in your extra deck. You need to have a card in your hand that goes towards your Butler combo, aside from the one that you use to go into your full Prank It's combo. And you need to have the Faithful Adventure on the field. So it's pretty standard combo going throughout. It's gonna be a one card combo, but towards the end, what you do, once you have the Bow Wow Bark on the field, as you guys will see what I'm about to do, first of all, we search for a combo extension through our Roxy's Banish plus draw. Don't draw into a combo extension. So right here, this is where the combo line changes. It becomes a combo extension. We know we do not have the Griffin Omni on the field. We cannot put the Griffin Omni on the field. So what I do, since I have a card I require towards the Butler combo in my hand, I activate the Faithful Adventure get the Enchantress, banish it, and then get my right. We activate right, get a token, use that token up to go into a Link Spider. And Link Spider plus the Lampsies on the field goes into Predaplan, Verte, Anaconda. Now keep in mind, as I said before, this only works if you have a card you require for the Butler combo in your hand, namely your Dropsies, Fansies, or Lampsies. You need to have a copy of that. Otherwise, you will not be able to go into your Butler combo on your opponent's turn. With this, I could have gone into a Thunder Dragon Fusion, into Butler, or DPE on my turn itself. I chose to go into DPE. So we have the DPE on the field. I am going to pop the DPE and the Predator Plant because I'm going to be having no space to put two copies of Dropsies on the field or three monsters on the field once I do my Butler combo if I have the Predator Plant on the field. So I pop it. I activate pranks, draw into a call by the grave, which I use preemptively on my opponent's maxi. Why? Because first of all, you cannot set down this call by the grave. It was already towards your turn's end. So I thought, why not just use it and negate my opponent's maxi in case he maxis me on his turn. He will be guaranteed drawing two cards because I do want to go into my butler combo plus DP coming on the field will draw him another card. Did not want that to happen, so I preemptively call by the grave my opponent's maxi. Opponent draws a card, we activate Bow Wow, target the two cards we require for the butler combo, add them to our hand. Standby phase, DP is going to come on the field as well. So there it is guys, it's basically a combo extension in case you don't draw into a full adventures engine and you have a card for the butler combo in your hand. My opponent decides to Harpy's Feather Duster me, which prompts me to activate my Pandemonium early and put my Butler on the field. Now right here, another tip for you guys, never ever, if you can help it, put both your card destruction effects on the field at the same time. Why? Because your opponent can be playing Imperm. They could be playing Forbidden Droplet. They could be playing a Dark Ruler no more. They have a ton of ways to negate both cards at the same time and that means both your card destruction effects are gone. So if you can, do not put them on the field simultaneously. I had to do it because my opponent was wiping out my back row and then I go into my graveyard activations. Usually what I tell you guys to do is that with the graveyard activations, always put two copies of Dropsies on the field. That way it's a guaranteed totally awesome on your turn if your opponent does not get rid of one of the Dropsies on the field. But since I had one copy of Dropsies in my hand, I wanted to save that as a combo starter card for my next turn in case I get a next turn, in case my opponent does not kill me this turn itself. So that's the reason why I did not put two copies of Dropsies on the field. Now, 
I have specialed out five times this turn. The DPE being one and the butler plus three prank kids being the other four. So my opponent can nib me. Now nib on DPE means that it's tributed, it's not destroyed. So you have to chain your DPE, destroy itself so that the nib does not tribute it. That way you can put DPE on the field again. And I choose to target my Lamses. You have to choose your target as well. Lamses being the card with the least amount of defense. That's the card I chose to pop with my DPE. I wanted my nib token to come on the field with as much attack and defense as possible. So he gives me a nib token for 4k attack, 6k defense. I don't know why my opponent put this card in face of attack. I was pretty bothered by it, but that's on my opponent. He thought maybe he did not want to give me a 6k defense token. I mean, it's whatever for us. It's better for us anyways. He goes into activating Longyan, discarding a Taya from his hand, and then goes into the Sword Soul Sovereign. Again, I do not know why he did the combo this way. I mean, I... I understand why he did it this way. Tayak does not have anything in the graveyard to banish. So he probably did not have another card in his hand. And this was pretty much his only play. So he puts the Sovereign on the field. Burns me for 1.2k. And he can only kill my Dropsies that was on the field. He cannot kill the Nib token. This Sovereign cannot kill this. It's at 33. My Nib token is at 37. And Sovereign is not immune to destruction through battle. It can only banish a card if it is getting destroyed through a card effect. So pretty bad play from my opponent's side. Again, I'm guessing this is the best he could have done. So let's go into our play. He ends his turn. Let's see what we draw into. Draw into Artifact Lancia. So I activate the Dasher, put the Lancia on the field, and I have DPE coming up as well. So I put DPE on the field, activate DPE, and pop his back row set. The reason why I was popping the back row set is because I was worried that that card could be a Sword Soul Blackout. If it was a Blackout, it could trigger pop two cards on my side. That would trigger the Sovereign as well to banish one card on my field and my graveyard. Did not want to go through all that, so I just used my DPE on standby phase, by the way. Not main phase, pop that back row. Turned out it was just a Lightning Storm, nothing to be worried about. So, doesn't really matter, it's okay with me. Activate DPE, main phase 1, I activate Draco back, attach it to the Nib token and bounce my opponent's Sovereign. Then I normal out my Dropsies, activate my Celestial's draw, start to go into my combo and my opponent realizes he pretty much lost the game right then and there. He was right in assuming that he would have lost that turn itself and he just scoops. That's going to be the end of the game guys. If you guys do like this kind of videos, please consider hitting the like button subbing to my channel for more daily prank and video uploads and if you guys are interested in the live version of all of this i do live stream on twitch twitch.tv slash jpbduel link along with my schedule is going to be in the video description itself for you guys to check out this is jpbduel signing out for today i'll see you all in the next video peace